doing a simple string change and I'm going to uh, check the string height and the neck relief. This is a Teton uh, acoustic guitar where I'm going to check the string height and uh, check the neck relief with strings on it. These strings are completely ruined. I can run my hands over the top of the strings and I can feel a dent at every fret, especially on this G and, and the B string. Oh, and we're gonna get a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any major, um, you know, dings in it. Of course, there's a couple of small dings just due to owning them. It's what happens if you want a guitar that doesn't have dings in it, you should park it in the garage, just like your boat that doesn't have any dings in it. The other thing I'm gonna do today is oil the fretboard and uh, polish the frets, uh, oil the saddle, all the exposed wood on that. So uh, it's gonna get a good work over, and we'll have it back to him here in an hour or so. With my initial inspection of this guitar, the neck relief was whoop. This thing was a banana. Um, tightened up the uh, truss rod uh, with a four millimeter hex key and have gotten the strings down um, just that motion um, in dropping the headstock down um, it's what happens when we tighten that truss rod has improved the string action immensely so at this point um, I don't bother measuring with a, uh, a feeler gauge uh, we want 12 thousandths we use this type of uh, feeler gauge to check that uh, with old strings it's absolutely pointless to do that because the strings are all bent over the tops of the frets. So um, I'm going to pull the strings off of this guitar, do a clean up on the fretboard, check all the bare wood, uh, clean off the headstock under the strings, get this thing polished up. It'll be looking beautiful here in a moment. All right, so we have the strings off of this. We're about to check the fretboard, the fingerboard, see if it's perfectly level. And it is back bowed considerably at this point after making that initial adjustment on the truss rod so we're going to loosen the truss rod ever so slightly and oh boy we're getting close very small movements on this will make all the difference in the world all right so we have a back bow with the uh with the truss rod completely loose it's not engaged at all uh, it's it's totally loose at this point. So what I'm going to do is just turn it till it grabs. Um, so it's doing something, and we're going to clean the uh, clean the fretboard. Give it a good cleaning. You can see all the brown residue that comes off of that. Some of that is uh, countered. Ooh, that looks better already. I like it. The machine heads on this guitar are all uh, very loose, so we're snugging those up. Uh, there's a set screw in the end of each machine head handle, which snugs them up. Check the machine head nuts for being tight. We just get them snug. We don't want them cracking the finish tight, but we want to snug these up. Yeah, a couple of these are pretty loose, probably rattling. If they're that loose, um, they likely will cause a rattle uh, when the guitar is played. Just make them snug. Uh, every time you change the strings, check for that sort of stuff. All right. The tool. <laughs> the tool. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah,
yeah. the passenger back in you know on both backs you just barely push it and it opens you yep know? they pop right open yeah. Here in a minute. Yeah, yeah, we're oiling up the fretboard and getting this guy all back in shape and bringing the wood back to life. Make it look all pretty. I know a lot of folks play this guitar because uh, I get it see I get to see it get used at a, our local open mic, uh, which happens the first Tuesday of every month at Ten Depot here in town. Uh, he lets a lot of folks play this guitar, so it definitely gets used. Hey, somebody's calling. Alright, so we're putting strings on this thing. I've got the low E on there. We'll get the rest of them on here for you. We'll fast forward over this crap. Ends good, but this is it's just higher than it should be. You tell me, I'll leave the strings on there just so you can poke your eye out. Yeah, it's a little high up here. Yeah, I can take a little off the bottom of that saddle and just take a few minutes to do it. I think it would be worth doing just to yeah, play it. Yeah. This guitar is done. We've oiled it. Grinded a little bit off the saddle, got the action down a little bit lower, got the neck relief perfect. Have a set of 12 gauge clear tone strings on here. Ashley is going to love this thing. Um, and many of you are going to play this guitar if you go to the open mic here in Le Grand. So um, 
remember that the next time you play it. Uh, polished frets, oiled all the wood, boom, done. We love it. Thanks, Ashley.